Mm. All right, let's start with this one. Okay. So this was revealed uh, just yesterday out of the blue. Um, the the guys were taking bets on how fast I would get this video out yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> My record. Um, but this is a what we believe to be a one-fifth scale. And the reason why we think that is because the height is 20 inches. Um, Which still sounds, sounds wrong for a fifth scale, I think. Oh. Yeah. And um, where, did, where did the 20 inches information come from? From Sideshow? It was from that Screen Rant website. Mm. Okay. They yeah. said approximately 20 inches. Mm. Um, this one obviously has a, you know, a sizable base of some sort. Obviously, this yeah, yeah, yeah. cape. Right. Um, but anyway, we think this is one-fifth. Uh, typically, their other dioramas are one-fifth scale, although those are battle dioramas. I think this is the first one I could think of that's more of a... You have a super romantic. chat. A romantic. Just popped up. Okay, yeah, it could be fifth scale at that point. Yeah. Right. Sorry, let me go into that super chat real quick. Lane Kramer, right. <clears throat> $5 super chat. Thank you very much, Lane. Um, speaking of customer service problems... BBTS just went to me tonight. Uh, we will have no more info on items on pre-order. It will only be emails from now on for any info. What is he saying there? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I expect that toy store. Yeah. Went with no more info on items on pre-order. Interesting. Lane, what do you mean? Can you be more specific? Um, do a, do a follow-up post. I'm not exactly sure what you mean about that. <clears throat> Are you saying that they won't provide info whenever you pre-order on what? I'm just not sure. So we'll we'll go back into the photos, but as he responds, would you guys read it for me? Yeah. Okay. Thank you again for the super chat, Lane. That's awesome. Thank you. All right, we'll go back in. So um what do you guys think about this one? What do you think of the sculpt? What do you think of the pose? I liked it from the other picture. Here, it kind of looks a little funny. I, uh, I, uh, I made the joke. It kind of looks like they're posing for a prom picture, especially this angle. Uh, this wouldn't be my preferred viewing angle. I like that <laughs> a lot better. The first I, I agree. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Um, some people have said that Batman looks in incredibly bored. <laughs> Well, you know what, though, to me, I've, I've, heard, I've read many people say that, but to me, that's been, that's been his attitude. <clears throat> like, there's several times in the comics where they're yeah. both on a rooftop and he's all business. Yeah. And she's not. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's they're, I think they're picturing that here. Very I well. do too. I, I, I agree. see that. But on the other end, it almost looks like he's trying to do like a smirk, like a little bit like, oh, I don't know. Maybe it's just, the, I don't know. I think he looks pretty serious, but, I, and I agree. I mean, I think she's more flirtatious and that, again, that's exactly like Jeff said, like she's always trying to get him to lighten up and to yeah. be playful. Um, and <clears throat> again, I, I said in my video that it, it really reminds me of that. Like we talked about earlier, that um, iconic Jim Lee kiss uh, from Hush. Um, and I, I would still love to see that in a larger scale. I think Kota Bakia did it years ago, um, but, and that's a hard piece to find, but, yeah. I do appreciate this, and I think it's actually really cool. I, would you guys prefer it would be, it'd be in quarter? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Me, me, a hundred percent. Um, I think this would be a really cool piece. I think that her portrait's really nice. I I worry about the teeth. All I see is solid white there. Yeah. Yeah. Lord yeah. knows. <laughs> um. It would be better with no teeth. Just close your mouth. I agree. Yeah. Because that's always an issue. When I looked at when I look at this angle, and I mentioned it to you guys yesterday, I think there are some people who kind of wish Catwoman wasn't there, because this would be a pretty cool Batman statue. Yeah, yeah. I agree. And when you said that, I was almost thinking, can you like pull her out and get away with it? But the, the cape's know, wrapped yeah. around too much. I doubt her. it. <laughs> yeah, but people want a sculpted cape on Batman, yeah. and that portrait is pretty cool. It is. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. So, yeah, and the cape is cool. I don't know. Wouldn't that be awesome if you could remove her? <laughs> it would. And then you could pose it how you wanted it. They'd yeah. actually be really smart to sell it that way. It would be. 
and really they could they could even good. add an extra small base that she could be put on if she was removed. Well, now you're talking for the deluxe. The yeah. cape kind of like swirls out a little too far, though. I think yeah. it might. If you like remove a cove, maybe. Well, like you, a, could put, um, you could put Ace the Bat Hound there. Maybe we got to swap yeah, out yeah, Alfred. Yeah. <laughs> put if, Alfred only, if only they reached out to the YouTubers and yeah. <laughs> and asked yeah. our opinion. Yeah. No, I'm just giving Sideshow a hard time again, but. Uh, I, I think this one's going to be very, very popular. I think the ES will be quite high. Yeah. I still like it. Yeah. I still like I it too. Like it. Yeah, I think it's great. Are people in the chat liking it? Are they responding pretty well to it overall? I feel like yesterday's video, people liked it. I still feel like, it, like you said, Chris, if it was that like Jim Jim Lee type of situation where they're like facing each other, almost like the, the kiss, I think it would have been iconic. I would show this to my wife, and the first thing she would say is, knockers out. Yeah. <laughs> Tits up. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what she would say. Um, so anyway, we'll move on from this one. Um, let's talk about this. Um, so this is the Joker. Um, it's going up for pre-order tomorrow morning. I've heard pretty early, um, and so it should be up tomorrow. Um, this will be quarter scale. And uh, people need to be prepared. This one will be pricey. This is a quarter scale, but it is a massive piece. Um, I am predicting over a grand for this piece. Um, time will tell. I think it'll probably be more than that, actually. Um, do you guys expect it to be about that as well? Like, I can't imagine this thing um, being any cheaper. I, th I think if they're going to go really high, they should set a reasonable addition size. Yeah. If they go really high and it's to be determined, I don't know. Um, I agree with that. I, I would agree with that too. I think that's a smart move um, because I think that if the price is really high on this one, I can see people going back and ordering the six scale. Yeah. Um, which you know, people, you know, if they get a sticker shock, I think that again, this is this is not your typical quarter scale. I mean. Just Joker alone is going to be big, but then you figure the chair. And I know, I know, I, uh, some of you have said it's like you're paying a lot of money for the chair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, he's he's, a, he's not a big character. No, yeah, he's lanky, um, very lanky, very skinny. So you are paying basically you're paying for the base. Um, the thing the is, the base is incredible. There's so many yeah. Easter eggs on it. Um, <clears throat> and I, I mean, I love this from the from the moment I saw it. I love the cowl on the on the chair. I love the chair itself. Yeah. Um, and obviously people have already asked me like, you know, you know, there's comparison obviously to the, to the, um, George and menace Joker from prime one. Of course, that's going to be third scale. Uh, and also queen studios, he used to chair, uh, Joker as well. Um, with their diorama, um, their throne series. So, um, that begs the question, uh, you know, at, at over a thousand dollar price point, are you guys still going to order this one? I have it converted right now through Tweeterhead from my six scale. It's supposed to convert to quarter scale. Uh, based off of previous discussions, like Jeff did the uh, the math of what the, the, the markup was to make Harley quarter scale. And I think what we said, it was going to be closer to the $800 range, which I felt like was going to be a little bit too good to be true. Um, you know, it was a bit like if you compare it to other throne pieces, for example, Thanos on throne. Uh, Thanos on throne is a big piece. This actually might be a little bit bigger than Thanos on throne, not the character, but just the overall size. Overall and Thanos size. On, yeah, Thanos on throne was a $1,200 statue, but Thanos on throne, you know, that the chair goes with Thanos. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's bulky. like transportation bulky like chair. And it, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's not, it's not just the whole statue. I mean, Thanos is pretty big and the chair is kind of like, you know, just around them. To this, you know, that statue goes together. To this, you don't need a chair to make a Joker statue. You can have any Joker statue without a chair. So the, the, you got to really love the concept on this piece to yeah, spend it, more than $1,000 yeah. for a Joker sitting on a chair. So that's it, where it, it is, comes down to. I mean, it is certainly unique. I mean, we hadn't seen something like this necessarily. <clears throat> I remember like an old model kit where he was sitting in a chair from, you know, 20 years ago. Um but I feel like this is a is, is a good concept. I really like it. Uh, I enjoyed you know kind of seeing this progress over the years. Yeah. Um, but if, but it, I mean, if, if it's more than a thousand dollars, I mean, you really want to spend. I mean, there's a lot of cool Easter eggs on it. I mean, half of the base is just bags of 
what is that money or sand money. or whatever it is money um and a giant chair i mean you can wait and get a different joker statue for half of the price so it, it really comes down to what they set the price at and like the landy said what the addition size if they keep the addition size low it, it's going to help uh, Chad did reach out to me and said that uh, Twitter had customers, uh, if you're wanting to convert, um, you need to email joker at tweeterhead.com. And the Sideshow customers will need to email their support team at Sideshow. But again, that email is joker at tweeterhead.com um, if you're wanting to convert <clears throat> when it goes up on sale tomorrow. So one anyway. thing that's kind of a bummer is if you canceled the one sixth because you wanted the one fourth, then you gave up your opportunity to get the exclusive of the one sixth. If now you want to go back because the yeah. one fourth might be too expensive for you. Correct. So now the only way to get the exclusive is to order the one fourth because they decided to give the one fourth, all of the exclusive parts, which I kind of wish they hadn't done. That's a good point. Um, so again, I'm going to go back to my question. Um, are any of you ordering this? I have it on order. I don't know if I'm going to cancel it yet. What What's keeping me on board with this right now is I love the chair, but but what pushes it what pushes it on top to me is the Batman cowl. I love how the Batman cowl is just draped over the chair. If that wasn't there, I don't know if I would care as much for that chair, and I would probably just wait for a different Joker statue to come along if it's going to be you know a pricey statue. So. For now, I have it on order. I don't know. We'll see what happens if I keep it or not. Um, I, I most likely am ordering the quarter scale. Um, how about Delaney or Dan? What do you guys think? I have the one six still on order. I'm going to keep that order because I think the one quarter is going to take a while. Yeah, that's yeah. true. You know, and I, I want I want to review the one sixth piece. I want to see how it came out. And uh, I don't want to wait till the end of the year or longer to get the quarter. Yep. yep. Dan? Um, no, be, uh, I mean, I really like this piece when I saw it orig originally. Um, <coughs> I did order it. I subsequently canceled it. Um, I'd be very tempted by the one quarter if it wasn't for the George Jimenez piece. Um, yeah, I'm kind of interested I, in that. Too. I am very, I love that Jimenez piece. Me too. It's really cool. That. And by the way, really Chris, I think that one this is just a personal opinion. I think that one may match up with Batman Hush better than even say cheese. Uh, it might. It might. Yep. Uh -huh. I think Jimenez draws a lot of inspiration from Jim Lee's Joker stylistically. And I, I am looking over at my Batman Hush right now. And I think that Joker sitting next to him is going to look awesome. Yeah. But that, that, that Batman Hush is a big piece. It's, it's a giant base and. Yep. And I we'll think we'll look at that one here. We'll, we'll look at that nice. one here real soon. Uh, let's move on to uh, Purgatory. This is a brand new statue uh, from PCS um, and also going up for pre order, I believe, tomorrow. Um, this is a one third scale. I think this is an awesome looking piece, but I'll kind of scroll through and uh, I'll let you guys say what you think about it. What do you guys think? Love it. Not going to buy it. <laughs> why, why is that jeff <laughs> well number one because it's too damn big <laughs> and number two because uh the wife might not appreciate it what yep well, happy, life, that. happy life man that's right that's right yeah this is definitely this is definitely a very uh, sexualized character um but i have to say the sculpt is really impressive mm -hmm. i think it's a great piece i, I love everything about it even the switch out bangs. Yeah, well, <laughs> we'll see the switch out bangs here in a minute. The base is really cool. With the I love the fence. Uh, kind of gives me an Arkham vibe. But this is kind of what you get without uh, all of the you know dramatic lighting effects and stuff. Um, but just a really fun statue. It's gonna be gigantic. Gigantic again, oh, third scale. Yeah. It's like thirty three high and thirty three wide. <laughs> Crazy. Dang. Yeah, that's massive. And then wings are. That's a shelf killer. Yeah. This, of course, goes uh, with the um, Vamprilla. And uh, what was the second one they did? Um, Lady Death. Yeah, thank you, Lady Death. Um, great base. 
Yeah, they're going to do well with this one, I think. I think so, too. Again, a beautiful portrait. Beautiful sculpted body and the wings are incredible. Again, I just think it's a home run for them. I think this will be very popular. Again, it might not be for everybody's living room. It's a big and it's on. an older sculpt. Mark Newman sculpted it some time ago. And really? They're now producing it, yeah. Interesting. Again, just really well sculpted. What's not to like? So this this is the um, the the regular bangs that. Those are the uh, th those are the nighttime formal. It's the uh, yeah. it's the split bangs that goes with the horns, like yeah, split, split bangs. bangs. So those that's the original ones, and that's the cowlick version. And then they'll do this, and they they've added this today. Yeah, I can't tell which one I like better. I, don't know. I like the split. Mm. Yeah, I think ah, uh, yeah. I don't know. I think it's just unique. <clears throat> but anyway. Um, that's again going to go up for pre-order tomorrow. What, what was it? 1300? 1375. Gulp. Gulp indeed. Yeah. How much? 1375? Yeah. 1375. Okay. Uh, speaking of third scale and Dan uh, brought this one up uh, just a bit ago. Uh, this one will definitely be pre-ordered by the Batman statue collector for sure. Um, I'm still hoping that uh, tomorrow we find out if um, we can actually get a discount if we buy them together with punchline. Mm. um look at this deluxe bonus like this is great so does this mean chris you think now when you say that are you going to pre -o, po through prime one um <clears throat> i haven't quite decided i'm going to see what other retailers offer yeah um if i can get it more locally i will um but if not i will contemplate prime one i feel like prime one's shipping has been better lately um so I'm not as worried about that. Obviously, there's no taxes through Prime One. Um, it, it will really. You know, I'm just gonna have to weigh my options. I'll, yep. I'll just say that. Well, let's um, stay in close contact on that. Mm. Yeah, yeah, we'll be in touch. But um, I love this bonus part. I think that's have really to fun. Have this. Ha have to have this. This is to me. This is a deal breaker. I like Eric with the cowl on the other one. This is a deal breaker for me. Yeah. Are you getting a uh, punchline, Dan? Yeah. Oh, am I getting punchline? I don't think so. I just don't have an attachment. I like the character. I think she's cool. I don't know if I want to dedicate the real estate to her. Yeah. Do and you I like? Thought... Do you like this better than uh, was it? What do you call it, Chris? The smile. Say say cheese. Uh, say cheese. Yeah, oh, say cheese. yeah. And and you know nothing against the say cheese. It's not my cup of tea, as okay. Chris likes to say. Um, the say cheese statue. Yeah. I'm, I'm highly considering switching to one third, and I'm. Um, a lot of thoughts are going through my head of what to do and what to order. Um, seriously, Casario, you might you might see a change behind me very soon. Well, Ooh, and Eric, wow. I think I think if you continue to use your cubes, yeah. this one would no fit. that that would that would all come down. Oh, it would. You'd go uh, completely different. I had the chance to go visit Dan and see Dan's collection. Uh, amazing collection, very uh, elegant and classy looking, and. I feel like one third I, I could pull off in my room and I think I could do it. And I would just love to rip down everything behind me and start <laughs> over. So I, sh I sure have considered making Dan shelves. <laughs> they, they look really good in person. I, I'm it, sure. It's... Well, actually, Eric, that was one of the first things. And thank you, by the way, for the compliments, yeah. Eric. That's really nice of you to say. Um, that was actually the first thing. One of the first things that Eric said, Chris, was yeah. that he said, wow, these look much different in well, person. I've never seen really like one third statues in person. I have um dark side but dark side's like a huge car i'm assuming dark side's probably the size of you know uh chris your bane statue like yeah. that's how big he is so seeing dan's collection in person and seeing the one third they're i mean they're big but they're not like bulky big it's yeah i i, I yeah, you missed um you missed freeze prime one freeze yeah. and prime one croc those yeah. two were almost for me too big i mean they yeah. were they were enormous they were impressive as hell, but God, they're big. Yeah, they're massive. Yeah, massive. Um, obviously, with the deluxe here, you're going to get some different swap outs. I thought the lower torso was different. I love yeah. that. I thought that was kind of neat. That's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, I love it. I so what's absolutely. uh what's your preference of display options on this? Like, what do you? What do you, um, what do you guys I really like? like I like the cane better than the batarangs. I think. Okay. Um, that's just me. Um. I don't like the, the mask. The I don't yeah, I don't love the mask. I don't need that. And I don't really feel like you need the cross leg either. Yeah. Well, but you do need this. 
I feel like that mask works better with the cross leg, though. I don't know for some reason. So I mean, you're gonna get you're gonna get it anyway, you know. Yeah. Um, I do like the cross leg. I don't think it's like it's like a end all be all to have the cross leg. I think they both still look good. I, I really like that right there, that look with the cane. Yeah, that's nice. This is probably how I display me, mine. Um, there, there's this is the regular portrait, right? I mean, the regular just as it is right here. Um, I'm surprised there's only one portrait. Um, but there's punchline. Yeah, she's really cool, and that base is awesome. I mean, that combined is going to be really impressive. I just can't get over the hurdle that I have. I just don't have a connection to the character. But so what? He's he's about like twenty inches deep. You think? I bet I, he's not even that. I don't think he's even that. He's oh, actually that's... pretty narrow width wise. Yeah. Or uh, depth, I mean. Depth wise, yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to picture the the two of them together. How much shelf you would need? Oh, that's different. I think when you put her on there, it gets huge. Yeah. Yeah. She, her base is bigger than his. Yeah, exactly. Even so Chris, wise. Chris, you think you could pull off both of them together, like behind each other or? I will. Yes. All right. I'm also depending on, like we were talking about the shelving. Like if I would move into the, the bat bunker, I would probably do something very similar to what Dan did because it's so industrial looking kind of that industrial steampunk look, I think would be really cool. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I could do a lot more with my shelving with multiple layers like Dan has. Um, depth wise. I mean, if not, they look good side by side like that. So yeah, I mean, you can still do it that way too. Yeah. So anyway, great piece. I can't wait to see how much it costs. I'm a little nervous, but I, I it doesn't seem like it would be a, a ton, but we'll see. Let's there talk you. about the super, super deluxe premium, premium, premiums, master, Ultra. master VIP. Silicone. <laughs> look at this thing. It's ridiculous. I mean, that looks like a photograph of him. Yeah. Best bus you've ever seen? Yeah. I think Probably. so. Yeah. We got I mean, look, uh, this I photo today. I've seen that's better. Look at the likenesses. Damn. That looks real. Look at that. I did see one Vincent Price comment today. I thought that was kind of funny. It's crazy. Like I've always, they remind me of each other. He could play Vincent Price in yeah, a movie. He could. Yeah. he could. They even got like all the little skin pores and everything. Like, it's just nuts. That is just crazy. So congratulations to the 200 of you out there in the world. <laughs> I'm really surprised. Hope you spent has enough to buy it. <laughs> yeah. Better wake up early, kids. Yeah. But, I mean, come on. That's just nuts. I just feel like, I feel, I feel bad. I feel like the ES should be way more. Yeah. I mean, even, even if it's, let's say, 500. Yep. But, anyway, incredible. Jeff Delaney, have, have you had a, um, a quarter scale strange in your collection at any point? No. no. I would love a, a quarter scale Doctor Strange from Queen Studios. That'd be great. Yeah. I bet yeah, I bet they'll do cool. one. Yeah, it's coming. They should. Uh, this was teased uh, by it's they've kind of done it every day and it's stuff we've already seen, but it's uh, all of these are going to be available in quarter or excuse me, six scale. Six Correct. Scale. Yep. So obviously you have Zatanna. I don't remember what this one is right here. That's Swamp, Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing. Oh, Swamp Thing. <clears throat> so that's uh, some news for collectors that are wanting those quarter scale ones in six. You're in luck. Uh, this was teased by uh, Sang um, this week. This is the uh, Robin King. Very creepy. Mm -hmm. It's got a couple of images and a video here as well. Mm -hmm. So that, that, that previous image is the big, it looked like a big character behind him. That's the head to it, no? I would assume like some sort of beast. Yeah, because in, in his hand, it didn't look as big. I don't know. I mean, yeah, actually, actually, it is pretty big, but they look as big. Maybe it was the perspective of the, you know, they took it from like a downward shot. Yeah. Not really a character I'd be interested in necessarily, but I'm excited to see what it looks like. It looks accurate to the comic. Yeah. Um, so these are some pieces that we saw at our um, Queen Studios show. <clears throat> we didn't really have a chance to talk about it in this type of format, um, but... I think this looks incredible. I'm really excited about this bust. Uh, this is this is obviously a render, though. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, how it actually will look in real life will make a big difference. But I do love the concept. Yeah, that base is so good. Really good. I've had a lot of people say I should cancel the Infinity one and get this. 
Mm. Um, they have obviously there's going to be two different versions because the makeup's different. I prefer this one. I do too. Um, it's unique. That would look really cool near your uh, your third scale. third scale. I agree. I think it would really pair up really nicely having the, the seated portrait. You could have that with the infinity one. Have them both. <laughs> the one without the one without the jacket. Yep. Yeah. I, I probably will, knowing me. With this, with the smeary makeup. Yeah. That this is You're my favorite. Look different enough. Yeah. The smeary makeup's my favorite. Well, that, you, then, are the, you are the Joker statue collector. I am. I know. <laughs> Start another. I can figure out a way to diminish how much hair yeah. I put on these guys. Yeah. Iron Man collector. Yeah. Um, but the jail cell in the back is really cool. It is. It's neat. Really so, neat concept. Uh, hello. This, this, yeah, hello. This was teased. Um, this is absolutely incredible. Did you did you order this one, Jeff? Yep. Uh, quarter scale Captain America Winter Soldier. Uh, one of the coolest quarter scale statues I think I've ever seen uh, in terms of movie pieces. And again, the, look at that. So why is this not sold out? Yeah. Edition size of 600. 590 bucks. How can this not be sold out? I think no hype train. Say that, Dan. No hype train. Oh, you don't MC think so? I think MCU is kind of quiet right now. Okay. Yeah. You know, and I I think a lot of the statue sales follow the hype train. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that'd be my guess. You know, I I mean, if you when you talk to, I don't know about you guys, but I mean, just amongst us and even people in our own community here, you talk to people and say, what's your favorite MCU movie? I bet three out of four say Winter Soldier. Yeah. You know, and so I think you're right, Jeff. It's kind of crazy that it's not sold out. So mm -hmm. what else do you attribute it to? Because the statue looks amazing. I, I think, mean, that I was just going to say, I think general audiences, though, might like or might like Captain America, but they might not love this suit. You know, mm -hmm. it doesn't jive with what I hear about the movies, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, I hear a lot of people do like the Winter Soldier as their favorite movie, but it's like I'm not a Marvel guy, so I mean, even if you go back to like Zack Snyder, like in, in terms of DC, I'm kind of over the whole Zack Snyder era. Sorry if I offend yeah. anybody, but I'm, I'm ready to move on. I'm looking, yeah, I'm yeah. looking to move on to other things. So the same yeah. thing with like Endgame and Marvel. It's like it's it's kind of over. It's you know, but it, but it's this it's is right in line with the other stuff that Queen Studios is doing. They've done. Loki in quarter scale. Yeah, true. they've done Black Widow in two quarter scales. They've got um, Red Scarlet Sonya Witch. redoing. Mm -hmm. not, not Red Sonya, uh, Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch, yeah. I thought about this guy to go with my end game, Captain America, but uh, I don't know. I saw it tonight. You know, it doesn't seem to be selling out. So, I mean, again, the price point is just unheard of. Yeah. There's a little um, bit, there's a few things on the suit that, that bothered me, but it's the shoulder, the shoulder thing should be a little more pronounced and look like they're actually caps on the sleeves. And it has a little bit of shine on the uniform. That's not, there's not a shine on that fabric. That's true. Yeah, Although that just could be shine. lighting too though, Jeff. Yeah. It be, you know, it could be. Um, but again, there's no denying that. No, no, it's just uh, oh, unbelievable that this is polystone. And somehow the pose is really cool mm -hmm. for a museum pose. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, it it's a museum, really, but a little bit of movement. It's just in, it's like almost intimidating. I don't know. It, it just looks really good. I love yeah. it. And I really liked it when I showed the picture of it next to the Black Widow they're putting out. I thought they looked oh, really yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they, they looked really good. They look great. They'll, they'll, they'll look, look fantastic. Great. Well, congratulations, Jeff, on getting it. And Jeff Morris, if you end up getting it, congratulations to you, too. Thank you. It's awesome. Uh, this was uh, teased. I, I wish we'd actually seen a real render. Um, this is just basically a cartoon. Um, but it's the Harley on Throne. Um, Anybody impressed with what you saw, or is it still a little too early to, to tell? I don't love it. Yeah, I don't love yeah. the artwork. I don't love no. the artwork either. I, I don't love the, the face. Um, yeah. But again, it's, it's just, it's just together. an illustration. It's a little busy. What do you think about He said that the hyenas are going to be hand-punched hair. 
Mm. Who cares? What? Why? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, like, no, seriously, like, why would you want the hyena's hair hand <laughs> Uh, I, it would bug me because I would be afraid that they would look like taxidermied animals. Yeah. And would be like, Too <laughs> nasty. Yeah. I'm, I'm anxious to see more. And I think that he said that there'll be mul multiple portraits, which I think will be good. Um, but time will tell. Um, I, it's not high on my interest list, but I am intrigued. I think uh, this is a time where fans need to speak up because Queen Studios listens. We don't need uh, hand punched hyenas. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. I mean, come on. I feel like if she looked was <laughs> the pose is different. <laughs> 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 we need a t-shirt. Hand punched hyenas. <laughs> this is a family show. We I mean... don't need hand punched hyenas. No. Oh, it's too funny. With real yak hair. Yeah, real yak hair, Chewbacca style. Let's move on to this one. This was another one that uh, was teased. A again, kind of similar to what we saw with the tweeter head piece um, earlier. Uh, <laughs> What'd you say, Dan? Very. I mean, to the point, are they just talking to each other or what? I mean, somebody's I copying off of somebody's notebook. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I and would imagine. Christmas lights? Yeah, it's good. Lights. Look at Batman's face. I think this might be like a big mirror. Is that what it is? I don't. Looks like a yeah. curtain. Like a curtain with a mirror, maybe a doorway. I'm not sure. I mean, you see Batman's face on top? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So again, yeah, it looks it like looks the Batman like a, cow. A, a, a severed head on a, <laughs> you know, like they mounted Batman's head on a thing in a trophy room. Do you, you remember that cover? What cover is that, Jeff Delaney, with all Tax the <laughs> with all the villains' heads on the mantle or on the wall? There's a Marvel cover like that. Was it? I'm not remember. sure. There's a classic DC cover like that. <clears throat> so yeah, it's. I mean, even the pose on the Joker, the way yeah. he's laying in the chair, is very similar. Exactly. <laughs> so I, I was really intrigued, but also really kind of shocked uh, when we saw this one because I'm like, whoa, we've seen this one before. He's sh shooting himself in the leg. Yeah. Uh, this was also teased. This is a quarter scale death metal Batman. So this one might be pretty popular among fans. That looks um, crazy. Well, that'll yeah. be, that's going to be a gigantic piece too. No? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think it'll be as big as white Knight, but it'll certainly no, be, be it'll, big. It'll be big. Yeah. yeah that's cool. Um, this all, this got some attention. Also the Superman life size bust. Um, some people have thought maybe the hair is a little bit funky, but um I think a lot of people would prefer this one actually over the Infinity Studios that they tease with the black costume. Um, but I do think the likeness is good. I do too. I, I think, think it's really one, good. Yeah, I think it looks great. I think the I think this one will be very popular. Yeah, I agree. I love it, but it's going to be too expensive for me. Is it going to be a diamond level premium <laughs> premium? Well, it's it's silicone skin and rooted hair, so it's yeah. going to be it's at least four thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, time will tell. And well, I that's halfway to diamond level. If you yes, it is. <laughs> You're halfway there. If you just get Spider Man, Loki, and Doctor Strange, you have a chance of getting it. Uh, this is a quarter scale um, Mark One. I. I think I incorrectly said this was uh, Ironmonger. It's not. It is uh, um, Mark One in quarter scale. So I don't know where these photos come from. Obviously, somebody has access to this amazing Queen Studios room with all the prototypes but uh i think this one will be popular among quarter scale collectors if this one's yeah. a reasonable price i'm gonna buy this one that's cool really yeah i'm gonna put it in the um this is a this is a piece that i always wanted um going back god years ago to um you know sideshow made one yeah, yeah it's really yeah. cool and highly sought after um i just couldn't pull the trigger on on the price that was being asked a few years back but i keep um uh down in my workshop area, my garage, I have the uh, the Iron Man Mark II Maquette from Sideshow. Nice. And I I would put this one down there uh, with him. That'd I, be cool. I, I love it. I love it. Looks great to me. Yeah. Yep. Uh, this was also teased, um, kind of weirdly. Uh, <laughs> to put it mildly, like I think it's a bad flat evolution. Yeah, it is the which I think is cool. I think it's a neat. If you're a big Ben Affleck fan, I think this is actually a very cool idea. 
but what scale was this? One ninth, one ninth or one something. One ninth. Right? Yeah, that's what he said. So I, I have never ever heard of that scale ever. I, um, so I thought that was very strange. I, I understand in terms of maybe price point that that you know if it's if it's let's say I mean even if you did it let's say fifth scale. I just do you guys understand the one ninth thing? I just don't get it. No. Does that mean that are the pieces sold separately? Or is this all one piece? I would assume all one piece. He said they were going to release them separately just the way it works yeah. out. Okay. From what I remember him saying. But they all click together. And they, yeah, they all go together. Which I don't, I don't know why you just not do it all at once. But, uh. but are, you, are you puzzled by the size? One ninth. So that's pretty small. I mean, yeah, 10% bigger than one tenth, right? So, Yeah, um, that's yeah. what I'm trying to back it in my head. And think yeah, that. I... When I first started collecting, I had a, a, a DC art germ hmm. uh, statue. It was one ninth for whatever reason. It was just like a weird scale. Would That's the only time I've ever heard of one ninth before. <laughs> so. I wonder. If, <laughs> you think these guys are one ninth? That's what he said. Yeah. That's what he said. No, 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 no. This, this, what's in my oh. head? Uh, you think the black and whites are one ninth? Because this seems like it's bigger than one tenth, and it's. Nowhere near one sixth, so it could be one ninth or one eighth, right? Something like that. So that's a pretty good size. I mean, if you've got whatever it was, five or yeah, six, yeah, I mean, minutes, yeah, it would take up some space in a diorama. I mean, that would look, I mean, that would look kind of cool, I think. I just Especially, don't know how you would, I just don't know, like, would it pair up with other things well in your collection? No, I don't think it would be like that. I can't you know imagine I mean? because this. But well, if you look at it, if you look at it as an individual diorama, like you said, I mean, yeah. it's still it's still interesting. It's visually cool. Yeah. And if you're a big Ben Affleck fan of Batman, this is a cool piece. But then again, one at a time. I, I feel like if I was invested in this, I would want them all at the same time. Yeah, but yeah. you know what? It's Me like too. when you were a kid and you were getting the next glass in the set at McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, know what I mean? like, you got to come back right. next week. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Next Christmas. Um, I yeah. love it. Uh, quarter scale Black Adam was teased. I think this actually looks pretty awesome. Yeah. It does, uh, especially if they get the likeness uh, right. It's kind of like Joker. <laughs> yeah. So if many thrones. A chair. Yeah, a lot of thrones. You just if you get if you buy all the chair pieces, you will eventually get. <laughs> they will send you the dining room table <laughs> that you can put all the chairs around. That's the special. The that's the special room. Queen Studios Throne Club. Yeah. <laughs> that's throne the Platinum Club. club. The and then platinum. after they platinum. send you that, they send you the, the, the greatest throne there is, and that's the toilet. The <laughs> Those are the free t-shirts. Golden <laughs> toilet. That's here. what they should put Joker on now. That'd be funny. That would be actually pretty funny. Yeah, that would be cool. Uh, this was also, I don't think it was teased by them, but this is one of their other dioramas that they're doing, which I think looks pretty cool, actually. Gosh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, this was the, um, the Black Widow, the Wanda that uh, they put up. They have since... Hold it, Scarlet I believe. Scarlet gonna... Witch. Scarlet well, Scarlet who did I say? Black Widow. Oh, gee, sorry. Uh, Scarlet Witch, thank you. At least I got Wanda right. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, they did pull it because they are going to tweak the face. I actually thought this looked pretty decent. It's not perfect, but I thought it was pretty good. Um, but what do you guys think of the statue itself? That looks think, really good right there. That, that looks really good. good. But once they yeah. put the hair on, for some reason, something goes wrong. It's a different. It's a completely different portrait. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I still think that looks okay there. Is it the angle? I think Maybe, it, I don't know. it doesn't look like Elizabeth Olsen. Exactly. It does, yeah. That looks good. Huh? Yeah. It looks like one of the Olsen cuts. It looks like a different portrait. Like Maybe one she's it. serious and one she's like yeah. Maybe. Right. But they did they did say they're gonna go back and retweak, you know, whatever version of this. Um so but I think if they do, I think this will be another really cool yeah. statue from them. Yeah, I agree. Another quarter scale, you know, fun piece. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Oh, look at this. This thing, oh my God. I love this portrait. <laughs> totally love it. This is uh, from PCS, uh, third scale, right? Yeah. I have no connection to the character at all, <laughs> but I love this portrait. Terrifying. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. It's so cool. Is there a vampire? I have no idea. It's, it's Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Ah, okay. Mm. Crazy portrait. Yeah. 
This was revealed by Queen Studio today and in art, uh, working on the six scale Gandalf. I think he looks pretty awesome. Yeah. 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 I like they're, they're, they're trying to get the paintbrush right in between all those little hairs to get to the yeah. mouth. <laughs> um, but I think it looks this like it's photoshopped, like the actor is actually like that's looks like a photograph of the actor too. That's yeah. Cool. They so, shrunk I mean, in McKellen. Yeah, they did. <laughs> and again, I just feel like this is going to be some pretty good six scale competition from them. Yeah, yeah. I think so too. Uh, this was also revealed by PCS. Uh, they've obviously done an Undertaker that we've talked about here on the show, but this is the more modern Undertaker. I think the likeness looks pretty good here as well. Um, so obviously a lot of Undertaker fans out there, and this one's going to go up for pre-order here soon uh, at quarter scale. But cool piece. Look at this one, Dan. <laughs> so this is the uh, White Knight Joker teased. Um, I've actually seen a little bit more. Uh, I shared it with the, the rogues. Um, but uh, this one will be uh, hopefully shown soon. Um, but this, of course, will complement the uh, the bike. Dan, what are you thinking so far? Oh, it looks awesome. I love it. I love that the base is a perfect complement to the, the, motor, the motorcycle piece. Yeah. Um, it looks super accurate to the cover. Um, and... Yeah, I love it. This will be a day one. Yeah. As soon as, as soon as it's available. Yeah, me too. Cool piece. Um, this was also um, that great piece from XM. And uh, this was just uh, Aang showing off some of the updated paintwork on her. Wow. I love the statue. I think it's phenomenal. That was, that was cool. Oh, love the name. Making, only making four ninety five of them. Yeah, great ES. Um, just, I, just, I love this kind of yeah. art. I wish I collected these type of things, but yeah, like the red Sonya type characters, I love them. Yeah, it's tall too with those wings. I think it's over yeah, super inches. tall. Great base, but I think I think they were specifically painting up the base a little differently. Um, I just I think she looks great. Look at that. Yep. Awesome. Uh, this was another character that uh, Sang was teasing, and I I don't know who this is. Um. Can't remember what series this is from. Not comic, I don't think. It's uh oh crap. It's kind of looks like cyberpunk. Um hmm. it's I think it's the same as from Angelus. I think the same oh, as is the, it? same as the last one. Oh, okay. It's same the, same top cow. Okay. Top, oh yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Uh the chat's saying Aphrodite. Is that sorry? Right? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe Aphrodite. So. Aphrodite. Aphrodite, sorry. So anyway, uh, just kind of teased, but it looks good. This was also teased uh, today. Um, I, I'm not familiar with this character, but he is on a horse. Um, but wow. it was actually revealed uh, some time ago. That's cool. um, this is wow. an incredible looking piece. Cool. Um, so this was the render that they were working on. This is... Um, Harbingers of the Neo Apocalypse, the Four cool. Horsemen. Wow. Um, but look at that. Isn't that awesome? That's insane. And here's another portrait. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's cool. Um, but again, this is the actual statue itself, but it's looking quite incredible. So I, again, I don't know much about this, but obviously I think XM is going to do a, a phenomenal job with this one. Uh, got some in-hand photos. Again, this is the uh, rooted hair version of the Joker. Uh, what do you guys think now that you're seeing some better photos? I think these are the best photos we've seen so far. So this yeah, is the quarter. Looks really good. This is the quarter. Rooted hair. That looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Still, looks excited. Good. Still excited, Delaney? Oh, very much so. But yeah. I want to see the sculpted hair for crying out loud. Yeah, they just they, obviously they went and did these first, but it does look good. Yeah, the hair looked interesting because it looked, you know, in the movie, not all of his hair had the green on it. You could see right. some blonde or brown, in the it. brown under there, and you could see some the profile picture. You could see some of that. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think they did a really good job on the portrait, the face. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there has been some critique about Queen Studios maybe doing a little thick on the on the makeup. 
Um, I, I do agree yeah. with that. That picture also looks like it's oversaturated too, Chris. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. And that's the thing is it's so hard to capture these sometimes. Yeah. I mean, Lord, Lord knows I still can't take a good photograph of, of my prime one Joker. Yeah. Um, but it's just in person. It's just so different. Uh, this was a piece that was uh, shown off. Um, this is the base for the Nightcrawler. Yep. Um, and I think this looks incredible. Mm -hmm. Be beautiful colors. So hopefully we'll see more here soon. <laughs> Vision. So this is um, a photo that was taken, and apparently he is shipping somewhere. Um, I know Mr. Delaney is very excited about that. We did get this. And again, I, I just cannot believe how good the likeness is. Um, did you get today's pick? I did. That is amazing right there. Yeah, yeah that looks awesome. So this, you know, we got this photo and it's like, oh, it feels washed out. The colors don't feel right. Mm -hmm. This looks right. Yeah. yeah. And, and believe it or not, that's an eBay picture. <laughs> wow, really? That's a Chinese collector who's already received it, selling it on eBay. And that gives me high hopes. I'm high really hope. looking forward to this now. And this had a great price on this, didn't it? Yeah, it was like nine. Yeah. Mm. So Mr. Bettany is coming home. Yeah. Uh, looks phenomenal. So I, I did want to update everybody. And I know Jeff was very excited when he saw that picture today. Very much so. Yeah. I'd love to see a better picture at the eyes and see if I got all that. You know, there's a lot of like circuitry. Yeah. 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 And I mean, you can definitely yeah. see some lines yeah, there. That works pretty good. But I think mm -hmm. I think it'll be pretty accurate, Jeff. It's cool. Yeah. It's really good. Uh, this I threw in there because they did reveal the new Batman suit, uh, which I thought was cool to actually see Keaton in that. Very awesome. Did y'all see today that um, Ezra Miller got arrested yeah, right. in Hawaii again? Again. Yeah. Like, uh, second time in like three weeks. Uh, yeah. So who knows if we'll actually see Keaton in that suit or not. He's like nearing his three strike <laughs> mark. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This will, if even if they have filmed the movie and they release it, it's going to be one and done for him. I, I'm, a, I, I'm sure. I have a feeling that they may pull a Doctor Who and he may be morphed into another person at the yeah. end. <laughs> I would have, I'm ready another for a reboot. Actor. Speaking of that, this is off topic, but I saw um, Fantastic Beasts last weekend on Sunday. How was that? Saturday. Um, I really liked it. Um, I was disappointed in the ending. I was expecting something a little different. Um, but obviously they've JK Rowling just said they're going to do two more films. So it wasn't really a finale, which it kind of felt like it needed to be a finale of sorts. Um, but there's obviously more story happening. The thing that I didn't like was um, I, I've, I've been watching the, the Johnny Depp trial. I don't know if anybody else has, but um, I really liked him as Grindelwald. Yeah. And so they replaced him. And I was just, you know, I, we were kind of going into the film, like, how are they going to explain his, his different look? Is, you know, is it the spell that, you know, blah, blah, blah. They never address it. Yeah. They, they never address why he looks wow. different, ever. And I was really shocked by that. I was like, they could have at least added something in there, like why he looks different. But Johnny was definitely missed, in my opinion. I yeah. really missed him in that role. Um, mm -hmm. but I, the other actor did a great job as well, but it just, it just felt different, but it was still good. It was still good. I hope they make the other two because I I'm hearing there's, there's rumblings. They might not because the numbers aren't very good on this. Yeah. One. This one is not doing well. Um, so it'll be interesting. I, I, I agree. I would really like to see them do more. Um, but I know a lot of fans would rather the, rather just get back to Hogwarts, you know, um, yeah. those type of stories. Um, but moving back, this is a, a reveal that Hot Toys had, uh, Luke Skywalker. This is kind of a remake, I guess you could say. It's an updated mm -hmm. portrait. Um, they, they teased said, this a long time ago. Yeah. And they said it's basically the exact same portrait as what they did for the Mandalorian one. Mm -hmm. um, just the hairstyle is a little different, but looks good to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That like looks Mark Hamill. Nice. So anyway, if you're a hot toy collector, that's available. Um, these were some better photos of the bust. Um, I did pay off my Prime One bust, and I got the shipping notification, although it hasn't shipped yet. Um, but uh, this one is coming to the Bat Cave. I think these are some of the best photos we've seen so far. That's what do you guys think? Really good. Yeah. Yeah. 
Looks that's good. Really good. I yeah. still think that's the best sculpted hair I've ever seen. Yeah. yeah. Yep. What, what, what Prime One did with the, the, the sculpted and the actual having real hair in there, it's pretty neat. Hmm. I agree. This Yikes. is a, an art finger <laughs> I saw. I thought it was pretty cool. It's uh, not a not a sculpted piece, but just just a, a fan art piece that I thought was actually pretty incredible. Um, so anyway, thought I'd share it. Uh, these are some in hand photos of the um, the Prime One piece, the third scale from Dark Knight's Metal. I think this looks awesome. Yep. Yeah. This is um, the one that they only did like 190 of, isn't it? Yeah not not a big yeah. a, not a big es, but looks, looks cool. Cool. Yeah. Uh, look at that. It's awesome. I love those bats with that black and red. Yeah, it's that classic black and red black and red from the Batmobile from the 60s. It just looks great. Um, these are some uh, painted up photos of that um, Swamp Thing. Um, yeah. just, just to kind of show you Jeff Delaney's new piece coming. Woohoo! Right. Yeah, look at that. Very nice. Teeth look good, too, on a quarter scale. It's like uh, it's got that real enamel gloss. Yeah, that yeah. shiny. Yeah. Really good. It's got those water effects in the base. Um, like the frog. The what? There's a fr you probably don't think, I don't think you have a picture, but there's a frog on it. A break no, that's, neat. Frog. That's, fun. <laughs> that's fun. Sure. <laughs> uh, these are some photos uh, that Queen Studios they kind of teased it with renders, but this is actually what it looks like. This is that um, that battle diorama that they're doing. It's crazy. So a lot of pieces, a lot of parts wow. to this one. Looks good though. It's crazy. Going into the Transformers world. Uh, speaking of Queen Studios, these are some uh, production photos of the, of the life-size Iron Man. It's always kind of cool to see these in wow. production. Pretty cool. So cool. It's awesome. Look at this thing. Wow. That's nuts. And what was this, five grand, I think? If I remember right. That's huge. Uh, this is the life-size um, Lord of the Rings piece, Soren. But again, just to see the person. <laughs> yeah. It's just nuts. Look at that. Hey. <laughs> I had to throw that in just to give Dan some props. I knew that picture. Oh yes, my you, God. Yes, that's right. Dan finally got his own remark. It's really His awesome. big smile is still from owning that. Uh, I that would imagine. Original Jim Lee sketch. Yes, yeah. that is a treat and a half. So awesome. Um, I've only wanted one for, I don't know, bet more than 10 years. So it's, awesome. it's been a long um, time. I just wanted to throw uh, this in and congratulate you again. So, so thanks, cool. Man. Yep. Starting small, but we'll work up. That's right. Um, image is probably about four inches around or so. So small, but love it. But awesome. Um, I don't know anything about Ultraman, but I did uh, throw this up because it did go up for pre-order this week uh, at Prime One. So if you're an Ultraman collector, um, these are available now. Cool pieces. Again, I don't know anything about them, but has a light-up feature. Right there. So that's that. Uh, also came out with a Devil May Cry 5. So I think this was maybe teased at one of their last shows, but this is now up for pre-order. So if you are a video gamer. Looks good. Yeah. Again, their sculpts are phenomenal. Yeah. Across the board, no matter what they're sculpting, always do a nice job. So that's that one. And this was uh, up for pre-order this week from Koto Bakia. Um, which I thought looked pretty good. It's what scale is this? Good Iron Man. Yeah. It was like six, six scale? I don't know. That looks good. I would imagine. Looks pretty good to me. Yep. Real good. Uh, this one uh, is from PCS. <clears throat> I think this one's just okay. It looks kind of simple to me. These are expensive. This was like, I think the two of them was like $3,000. Wow. Wow. Those cool. bases are cool. Yeah, the bases are actually really neat. One's gold and one's uh, kind of a copper. Yeah. 
but lots wow. of detail. It kind of reminds me of the Thor base a little. That's awesome. But hmm. they're artists signed, or or is that the signature of the actor? Uh, it looks like a sticker, so I don't know if it actually is signed. Oh, okay. Oh, I think this is actually maybe signed. Maybe it's a signature series. What did I say? One of fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, wow. limited. I think the pair. Oh, like huh. Whenever you buy the two, it's a giant fifty in the screen. Yeah, <laughs> so you have that, and then you have. I like this red version a little bit better. Um, cool base. This I need. I like this print. Very cool. Coming soon from Sideshow from uh, Gotham Streets of uh, Streets of Gotham. Oh, so it's available in a canvas too. Yeah. So that I like. Uh, this is a new piece that we saw um, at the, the recent uh, store tour. This is um, from Dark Knight's Metal. Wee. Yeah, wee. <laughs> <laughs> big, massive base on this guy. It's a cool base. Quarter scale. I'm not a big fan of the portraits on this, but that's just me. What do you guys think of this one? I've been looking at like this one, and uh, I know the other one's uh, third scale with Prime One. And uh, even though I don't I, usually, I like like the d dynamic poses over like museum poses. I think I like the the Prime One pose better on it. I I do personally, especially if you're going to be a third yeah. scale character now. I mean, if I have the option, if they were both quarter scale, I think I would like the Prime One pose better. Yeah. Although the base looks really cool on this, like the colors and everything. The material that it looks like the Prime One used has a little bit of a clear look to it, which I like that. Still a very colorful piece. Mm -hmm. The inside of his mouth seemed odd to me that it looked like oh, when the mouth's open. No, I don't know if I have a if I have a picture of that. I don't know if it's I don't know if I have in a good picture or not. But it looked really pink and like a normal color. Yeah. Where I, it seemed like it looked out of... For him to look so kind of like gray and ashy dead. Yeah. It's too pink. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. Um, I threw this in here because uh, the Prime One teaser for Saturday night had this particular logo. Yeah. And so this is what we believe will be shown. Yeah, we, we couldn't, I mean, I said we, the, the community couldn't find that emblem anywhere else. This is like the only emblem it, it matched was this wow. piece, which is crazy because it matches perfectly. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. So I could see them doing something like this. I mean, they um, just did, um, what is it called? The, the Justice Buster? Yes. Yeah. And that, that was a big P. I mean, this would be like the Justice Buster with giant wings on it. Right. I like <laughs> so I think I that's kind of what they're going for. So anyway, that'll be interesting to see uh, that piece revealed. Do we know what that's from? It's from the Justice League, the recent Justice League comics. It's called uh, okay. the Final Suit or the Final Bat Suit or something. Hmm. You can see the size of it with the you know there's the yeah. flash. So it's a big piece. Um, oh, this was the Queen Studios, uh, the line that they're doing. We, we already saw Gandalf earlier. Uh, they did do a whole lineup plan here. Doctor Strange, Captain America, life-size bus, Thor. Um, so a lot of these we've already seen. Um, Harry Potter, life-size bus, that'll be interesting. So anyway, that, uh, that uh, continues to be their 22 product plan. I've got some breaking news. What do you got? So I've been multitasking while we've been chatting. I've also been chatting with John. Oh, perfect. Yes. And I asked him about those five Ben Affleck pieces. Yes. And he said, this is still pending. The Nightmare Batman could be one third. Oh, Whoa, what? That's a big the jump. The others are pending approval. If one ninth isn't approved, some could be one third or one fourth. Wow. Wow. Still wow. waiting on news for those. That's a big and jump. And then I asked him about today's release of the thing about Doctor Strange. And here's what I'm going to read what he said word for word. Yes, we're going to rework this. For the Doctor Strange bust, we're limiting the amount we will make. So we want to give priority to some of the customers 
who have ordered from us before. The issue we have is that we need to make it fair globally. But U.S. customers have had less opportunities to buy. So we will review and try to find a better workable solution. Okay. They're trying to reward U.S. customers, and that was mm-hmm. the, what they came up with. Um, but obviously, it's not working as well as they hoped, so they're going to rework it and find a better way to do it. So does it sound like they're going to keep the ES at the same at, at that 200 mark? He didn't say anything about that. He did add, um, let's see. As mentioned, because of the lower ES, we do want to give priority to collectors who have ordered a lot of our bus or collectors in the U.S. that ordered the other silicone bus, but doing this in a way that doesn't completely shut out or make other collectors angry. It's a bit of a challenge, but we're working on it. Hmm. All right. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah. That's good to hear. Some of those Affleck sculpts in quarter or third could be kind of exciting. Yep. Yeah. I mean that, and they they're good looking sculpts. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So that could be <laughs> very interesting. And I think maybe just hearing too that like one ninth is you know it's odd and yeah. you know, people don't collect that. So it's a um, giant leap. It's like it is a giant leap. But again, you know, if space is an issue, and the whole idea is putting them together. I mean, you, you can't put all those together at one third. I mean, that well, that, be- that that was the impression I originally had when we had them on the show. It was like. Normally we would see these pieces larger scale. So I, I was, I was wondering like maybe if he felt like, cause he was saying there's been a lot of delay issues getting these pieces put out. So I was like, I don't know if he feels like let's just scrap them and not do them so large and just put them out smaller just to, cause we already designed them just to get rid of them. Now he's going, I don't know. Now it's like back to the larger. I mean, that's a big leap yeah. to go from nine scale to <laughs> Big change. Even quarter. Like I was expecting maybe like six, six scale. Like, Hey, now they're six scale. So I guess we're going to have to stay tuned. I yep. guess. Yep. And uh, thank you for having that breaking news. I appreciate it. That's yeah. fantastic. And again, thanks John for um, always answering uh, the fans and getting back to us. So thank you. I want to thank the 209 people. We are two hours, 19 minutes in. Thank you very much for um, just being here tonight. I want to remind you guys again, that we're going to be right back at this Saturday night. At 7.45-ish um, Central Standard Time on Saturday night for the Prime One Next Level 4 live reaction show. So we're going to, these are always so much fun uh, to be able to live react and also, you know, to chat with you guys in the chat. Um, so again, if you're enjoying the show tonight, please join us Saturday night. Um, I think it's going to be a blast. I cannot wait. Uh, fingers crossed. We finally see that darn penguin and uh, whatever else we might be shocked to see. But um, anyway, I want to thank the gallery for spending so much time with us tonight. Thank you guys uh, for being here. Thanks to everybody in the chat. I, I love you guys. You're always amazing. Thank you for showing up and being part of this amazing community. Um, please do me a favor and visit uh, Secret Sanctuary once again over on Secret Sanctuary channel. Um, if you haven't done so, please uh, subscribe and uh, you know interact with his community as well. You can also visit him, uh, Secret Sanctuary, on Facebook, uh, another great group um, with uh, great breaking news and all the other things that we love to talk about in the collecting community um, that's uh, not always just Batman-centric. So definitely check him out. Thanks to uh, Eric and Jeff and Dan also for being here as well. And uh, we'll see you guys Saturday night. Anything else you guys want to say before we head on out? Yeah, you have a super chat. Oh, yeah. right there. Ten dollars, Leo. Thank you very much. A Brotherhood member. Thank you very much, uh, Rogues. Now that Comic Cons are starting to ramp up again, thankfully, what are your top five cons to attend in the U.S.? Mine are San Diego, New York, Orlando, Tampa Bay, and Colorado Springs. Great list. Uh, Great. For me, I will be at Planet Comic Con this weekend. So if anybody is there in the Kansas City area, please, uh, if you bump into me, please stop by and say hi. We'll take a picture or something together. I would love to talk to you. And um, for me, I would say I've been to Denver. I've been to Dallas. Um, I have been, hopefully, to New York this year. Hopefully, fingers crossed, if all goes to plan. Um, that's, that's all I've been to. How about you guys? Definitely New York. Uh, this year. Uh, Fan Expo Boston for me. Uh, Terrificon here in New England as well. It's a great one that happens in Connecticut. Um, be at that one and perhaps Baltimore Comic Con later in the year. I that see. is a sleeper show, Baltimore Comic Con. 
really awesome. good. Yeah. That's awesome. Obviously, San Diego. I was going to say San Diego. I know it's going to come out of Jeff's lips. Yeah, although New York might be better for statues because XM sometimes shows up. They do. And, and they sometimes don't, show. And they don't come to San Diego. So, uh, yeah, it depends on what you're looking for. If you're just looking for statues, maybe try for New York. Um, San Diego is great for Sideshow um, and Cotabuquia <laughs> and uh, Weta. They have a huge booth every year. They do. And uh, Sideshow is good for comics, too. Vintage. Yeah, I, I would love to hit up San Diego uh, Comic-Con one day um, if I could fly out that far. Um, but for now, uh, sticking to the East Coast, going to do New York Comic-Con, hopefully, for all you guys. Um, and hopefully, Dan, we'll meet up again. We'll hit up uh, Fan Expo oh. in Boston and whatever else, Mar Maryland. And yeah. Heading up the East Coast over here for now. Sounds like we almost got Eric to Kansas City. We almost did. <laughs> yeah. I, I've been out like, I mean, I mean to play at Comic Con. This I year. know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it'll happen. I'll, I'll eventually come see you. So. That's right. That'd be awesome. Uh, I want to give a shout out real quick to uh, where was that comment? Sebastian says he's heading up to Kansas City tomorrow, so hopefully we'll see you nice. there too at the con. So uh, again, if you run into me, please uh, don't hesitate. Um, uh, Jeff, did you answer? Did everybody answer? I, I can't remember if everybody did. I've not been to any of the larger cons, just local things around. Which here. one would you like to go to the most? What's closest to you, like the biggest con that would be New easiest? York, New York? Probably. Or what were the other choices? Orlando. Yeah, Mega, Orlando. Mega, Mega, Mega Con. I'd like to do that one. That one's fun. Yeah. That would be fun. Could do that and go to Universal and Disney World. Yeah, good mm -hmm. idea. <laughs> Just yep. survive the yeah. con. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we should do some year. We should yeah. all meet up at MegaCon and then go to yeah, Disney Jeff, together. Jeff's, yeah. Jeff's thinking smarter. Forget the con. We'll go to Disney afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was say, that, yeah. That, how much fun would that be? Yeah. yeah. That'd be, be a lot, lot of fun. We could stay at the Polynesian in Christmas. <laughs> I was going to say yeah. that point. So, yeah, I've, I've, got a, I've got a nice little bungalow for us. That'll be yeah. all right. Uh, well, with that said, guys, thank you again so very much for checking out the video. Uh, thanks for being here. And again, Saturday night, join us. Um, got a lot of other great content on the channel this week as well. So again, thank you for your continued support. And we'll all see you soon right here in the Batcave. Bye, everybody. Bye, right, guys. See you, guys. Take see care. See Saturday. Yeah. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.